Salam Sujatra and a very good morning to our Highway Engineering Lecturer who is Dr. Nasser Adin, Ali Khalifa Milat. First of all, uh, me and my team members would like to thank to our lecture because give this wonderful opportunity to do this project work and also provide a lot of support and guidance to finish the project on the time. I also would like to introduce myself. My name is Sadesh Rao son of Samudram and also would like to introduce my team members name Mohammad Alif bin Tamliha, Navin son of Anandan, uh, Loshini, daughter of Srinivasagam and the last one is Tivashini, daughter of Ravi. The reason we are doing this video is to present our group project report which based on the highway subject. In this report, uh, we have to select a road which within 1 km and need to find out uh, the distress on the road and then we need to uh, perform with the PCI which is a pavement condition index test and then we need to recommend a maintenance or a rehabilitation method should be uh, needed to improve the PCI. Introduction of the topic. Road make a crucial contribution to economic development and growth and road also can link one destination to another destination. Road open up with more, uh, more areas and stimulates economic. Therefore, it is very vital to keep the road uh, maintained in good condition. A pavement must be durable to avoid uh, any pavement distress that can harm road users. Besides that, road pavement damage usually occur due to the traffic load, temperature, moisture content uh, or the movement of the subgrade and etc. It also can be uh, divided into six categories which is pavement crack, surface deformation, surface defect, edge defect, path hole and patch. In overcome the problem of damage to the road, uh, several methods have been introduced uh, to facilitate the implementation of parties involved. More efficient maintenance uh, measure and to ensure a benefit in management pavement. To overcome this problem, various efforts undertaken such, such as like studies on bituminous materials uh, with the aim of ensuring the quality of construction of roads is guaranteed and can reduce the maintenance costs. And furthermore, pavement conditions were assessed uh, using the pavement condition index which is the PCI test. PCI procedure is uh, chosen because the selected road is dealing with the pavement distress. The final result of a PCI is always between a number 0 until 100 which is mean uh, 100 is representing a pavement in excellent condition. Besides that, the PCI test are uh, Survey are needed for accurate prophecy of future degrade, degeneration and allows a perfect rehabilitation, rehabilitation of pavement. Objective or purpose of the topic. There are two kinds of objectives. First of all, to identify the pavement condition index data analysis. And the second one is to identify the rehabilitation method to improve the pavement condition index. A very good greetings to our lecturer and friends. Today, my name is Navindash Arendan, going to introduce about the background of the studies. In background of the studies, you will learn about the pavement defects, the exposure, the structural distress, and the environmental distress. What is pavement defects? It is certain to separately the principal to the theoretic residents are ensure the street and the public. As you'll know, the public, the users, are the very responsible people to the roads. This payment defects is normally caused by the people or the public, humans, and also the naturals. It's classified into two, which known as a flexible and rigid payment. We'll have the contract with the various kinds of exposure, which affect the payment according to the severity. First and foremost, this is the weather condition. As we all know that, Weather condition plays an important role in the interchange of the weather condition to obtain the weather flexible and outcome a serious one. The second and foremost was the ultraviolet rays. It is induced the pavement of undergoing the oxidation process as a result the brittleness in the pavement. And because the water, when it's water, the rain and the water irrigation, when it comes to the pavement also, there'll be water from the rain will be absorbed by under the layer will be supplied correctly. It shows that there's a cracking initial to the rainfall, heavy rainfall water. And the last, urging of the flexible pavement, uh, flexible pavement. 
Everything in the universe goes in the erging chain process. Same goes here. The erging of the life cycle definition of it is clearly seen the highly accelerated oxygen and fats form the flexible pavement, its own deterring level of the stages. There are few of structural distress. First and foremost is the alligator cracking. It is the map of cracking with the fatigue failure pause in the asphalt concrete. And it's due to the continuous loading and stress applied where it's an aid to the single individual tracks to conduct it. For example, every weight of the load of our vehicles, for example, uh, load, loaded lorries, vans, and cars. The brakes in the subways or the subway will generally split quickly under the downflow and traffic making the quest surfacing is dislodged and separated. Are results of the failure to the structure of the rehearsal tracks because the condition of the material ordinarily connected to the increment in the dampness content. Secondly, the potatoes, a portion of the seam which is broken away by the cost distribution in a road surface. It you may be look like a hole or the hole in the between of the road. This fatigue is continually developed, resulting in the continuous removal of the pavement chunks where the water will be stuck where it, with the water will be loaded to cause the low or the low quality of the subways and the, the material of the road. Due to this, the rate of the expansion will be enlarged drastically where the potato can be stayed in a several feet to too, too much of depth. Third, showing is also known as the form of plastic movement that is discovered in the form of wave. This wave is swelling of the slip surface commonly corresponding to the cost of the traffic eventually level displaying of the surface materials. It is also one of the major costs in the road pavement distress. There are few environmental distress. One of the main was the block cracking, also known as the terminal cracking, are the interconnected cracks forming a series of blocks approximately rectangular in shape. As the thermal cracking, where the temperature or the pressure affect the pavement again in the way, quicker than possible reason. This type of process occurs in the design of blocks, where the blocks are interconnected in the making of flexible pavement in divided into rectangular pieces. Maybe the, uh, the block size is usually greater than 300 mm or can exceed 3000 mm. The joints are underlying layers, shrinkage, static, and underlying cemented materials, shrinkage crust due to the bitumen hardening. Second and foremost was the age cracking. Age cracking occurs when the unconfined asphalt pavement, where it is because during the compaction process, the pavement going on, the age will start to yield, especially when the no sort of the continent like the stops and the age barriers where it will undergo the oxidation process also and become the breacher. Some of the roots this, of this kind of problem, such as like pro drainage, load, loading at the pavement, inequal pavement, and the pro drainage at the pavement edge and the shoulder. Last but not least, the weathering. Weathering is the most important year. It's also known the eviction of the aggregate particles will result in the fracture of the hot mix asphalt progressively from the surface to the downward directions. It is also called the rubbery and covered with the dust particles so that result shows the lack of bonding. It's that may cause to make the aggregate to bind with the dust rather than binder. That's all, thank you. Hello, my name is Mama Alif bin Tamniha. I'm going to explain about chapter three, which is methodology. Chapter three, methodology. This chapter provides an outline of the research methodology used to analyze the data of PCI. The PCI is calculated by starting with a perfect score of 100. Here is the road plan view which taken from the Google map view updated February 2020. Procedure to identify the type of distress. Step 1. Identify respective road. Step 2. Measure the road for 1000 meter using roots dotted line. Step 3. Met interval which is each interval consists of 100 meter and start to find the type of distress. Step 4. Zoom screen and fix a position. Step 5. Find the measurement scale using dotted line on the surface of the road. Step 6. Convert the measurement obtained to rule of measurement. Step 7. Drag or roll along the road in street view to identify the type of distress. Step 8. 
Measure the distance and area manually using the ruler and convert with measurement skill which find in step 6. And the final step is count the distress and write down the data. PCI determination procedure. Step 1. Divide the total pavement section into sample units. Step 2. The deduct values are determined from the deduct value curve for each distress type and severity. Step 3. Certain number of these units are selected to be tested. Step 4. The type and extent and severity of pavement distress in each section are recorded using the ASTM standards D5340 method. Step 5. The PCI is calculated using the method defined in the standard. Step 6. Deduct value is subtracted from 100 to give the PCI value. Step 7. When determining the CDV, if any individual deduct value is higher than the CDV, the CDV is set equal to the highest individual deduct value. And the final step is, the PCI is computed using the relation, which is PCI equal to 100 minus CDV. Hi, my name is Lohini and my matrix number is CF200267 and I'm here to explain about chapter 4 which is data analysis. Here you go for the introduction. For this part, we are going to do some of the data analysis and calculation about the pavement that we conducted to find out the general condition of the pavement section, whether it is good or bad for the road users. So, if the pavement is bad for the road users, safety it needs some of the repairmen to do. Besides that, we also do the data analysis to measure the performance of the road pavement or infrastructure and its level of service. Thus, it is important to know the state of pavement in such a way that local authorities will solve this kind of problem as soon as possible because a well-maintained road will lower the cost of operating of the vehicles by providing it with a smoother running surface. Example of PCI condition survey data table. Here you go, step 1. Determine deduct values by using the distress density percent uh, graph and then step 2, we have to determine the maximum allowable number of deduct in matrix. Step 3, we have to determine the maximum corrected deduct value as per graph of maximum corrected deduct value. Step 4, PCI calculation step for a sample unit as per pictures shown. Here you go, step 5. Step 5 is a determination of maximum allowable deducts in matrix and step 6 will be calculation of density which is density equals to total divided by sample of area times 100. Step 7 determining the deduct value. Based on the survey, the deduct value can be determined by referring the graph of distress density over person based on the density parameter calculated and the level of road condition which is high, medium, or low. Step 8. Determining the maximum allowable number of deduction as shown in the picture. Here you go our last part. Determining the maximum corrected deduct value which is known as CDV. We have to determine the pavement condition index as well. And here we come to our discussion part. Based on the data analysis, this section of pavement is in very poor condition and need a major rehabilitation and deferred action because the standard PCI of this pavement is below than 85 to 100 which is 15. However, this pavement does not follow the criteria according to the standard PCI because to get a good pavement is to have a standard PCI over 85. Therefore, in order to prevent any more damages on this pavement that could might contribute small or serious accident for road users, this pavement need to perform the rehabilitation and deferred action for the safety of road users. Thank you. Good day, myself Divashini Ravi and now I'll continue with maintenance and rehabilitation. Maintenance includes all the methods and techniques accustomed to restore or maintain a specified level of service and to prolong pavement life. Maintenance can slow the rate of pavement deterioration, but it cannot stop it. Rehabilitation of a flexible pavement is a measure to improve, strengthen, or salvage existing deficient pavements to continue service. 
Rehabilitation options include restoration, resurfacing, recycling, and reconstruction. Maintenance for road pavements. VCI can evaluate the pavement distress on the surface road to monitor and evaluate the efficiency and effectiveness of road pavement and to improve the maintenance system. VCI value for the pavement at Jalan Changka Jong network are 15. Thus, the section of pavement is in very serious condition where needed a major reconstruction. Road maintenance can be divided into three types which is routine maintenance, periodic maintenance and emergency works. Possible treatments for types of distress. Alligator cracks are results in inability of the structure to support the repeated loads due to a softening of the material normally associated with increased moisture content. The failure found in Jalan Changkat Jong can be due to weakness in the surface or base that is too thin. The possible treatments for the distress is performing a full depth patch. Reveling is the progressive disintegration of the pavement surfaced by loss of binder or aggregates or both. Usually, the fine aggregates wears away first and then leaves little pock marks on the pavement surface. The common cause is placing asphalt too late during the paving time, which can be treated by applying thin bituminous overlay. Depressions are localized pavement surface areas with slightly lower elevations than the surrounding pavement. Depressions type of distress can be easily seen after rain when they fill with water. The treatment for the depression is depending on the severity of the depression. Less severe depression can be fixed by applying a thin surface patch or infra infrared patch. Edge cracking are crescent shaped or fairly continuous crack, parallel to and usually within 300 mm to 600 mm of the pavement edge. It usually occurs when paved shoulders do, do not exist. Due to excessive roughing loading at the pavement cost, the edge cracking at Jalan Chakachong, the Intan, which can be treated by widening the pavement or strengthening the pavement edge. Potholes are small, bowl-shaped, depression in the pavement surface and have sharp edges and vertical sides near top of the hole. These distress are results of moisture infiltration and usually the end result of untreated alligator cracking. The treatment for this distress is by full depth replacement patch on the affected area. Rehabilitation for road pavements. Rehabilitation works include restoration, resurfacing, recycling, and reconstruction. Reconstruction work needed to be done if the calculated PCI value is 0 to 25, where the level of surface F, which is needed a serious fix at Jalan Chakachong, Tala Intan. Reconstruction is the removal and rebuilding of all, including subgrade, or part of the road pavement using fresh material and the new construction specifications needed. Conclusion. In a nutshell, after conducting this experiment, the attempt to investigate the pavement condition index uh, has been achieved at the selected location which are at Jalan Chankajong in the area of Thaloin Tan Para. We have achieved our prior objective which are to identify the PCI data analysis on the selected part of pavement. On the selected interval, the measurement was taken and the calculation has been conducted to identify the severity of the distress and the pavement also. After completing, uh, after completing the calculation, we have found that Jalan Chankajong is the section, Jalan Chankajong section is a rating in serious condition which is PCI equals to 15, where it is indicated that the road need immediate reconstruction in order to reduce uh, accidents on the road. Jalan Chankajong uh, is strong enough to support the moving traffic loads as it's necessary to find the pavement load carrying capacity. The analysis reveals that the pavement section are structurally is not strong enough to carry uh, the imposed traffic. Based on the determinate rating, the suge suggested maintenance, uh, maintenance and rehabilitation is described and listed out for the pavement section is continuation of the existing maintenance policy. In order of that, we have also achieved our second objective which are to identify the maintenance or rehabilitation method to improve the pavement condition index.